Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to another video. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be trying to pair the PlayStation 5's DualSense 5 controller to an Android tablet. And once it's fired up, we'll also just kick off the remote play there and see how it works. So yesterday I uh, dropped a video on the channel showing you uh, how I would pair the DualShock 4 controller, the old PS4 controller, to the tablet and tested remote play with it and it worked absolutely fine. Um, today I thought I'd just quickly test out how the PlayStation 5 controller connects to the Android tablet and see if it connects in the same way and then just do a quick gaming test on it as well. So the method of pairing for the DualShock 4 was to hold the share button and then the PlayStation button and hold it until it goes into a pairing mode. And you could see the light bar on the DualShock 4 controller flashing away as a strobe and waiting to be paired. So we're going to try and do the same thing here. Um, we're going to try exactly the same thing. I haven't read any instructions, so let's just see how it goes. So pressing the share button and then holding the PlayStation button and we'll just hold it for a period of time. And it looks like it's going to work the same way. So you can see that the lighting around the actual touchpad is strobing around now. So I'm going to go to the Bluetooth settings of my um, tablet. So let's just put that down for a second. And let's try and see if the controller comes up. So it has come up. And you can see there the wireless controller is showing there. So I'm going to press that and let it pair away. Right, it's asking if I want to pair. So obviously I do. And we have a pair device. So the light's gone steady now. It's a steady blue color as you can see there. On the controller and that shows a good sign that it's paired successfully now one thing i noticed with the dualshock 4 controller and i don't know if anyone's noticed this is when i touch my finger on the touchpad on the dualshock 4 it actually acted like a trackpad so i was actually controlling the mouse cursor so let's see if that happens with the dual sense 5 controller no it doesn't so that's interesting so i'm not getting any trackpad here um, which I most certainly was getting with the DualSense 4. Um, I don't know if I can quickly pair this or if it's another one. Let's quickly see if it works. And uh, One of these might be paired to the actual tablet. Just to show you that the way it works, that's definitely not the right one. Got another one here. Let's try this one. Let's see if this one pairs. I'm guessing I can have more than one paired to the tablet at the same time. That, so that's working. So now I'm just going to put this aside for a second and show you this working. So. DualShock 4, moving my finger, is controlling the mouse cursor on the actual tablet. It's very sensitive, but it works. And if I tap, it's actually working properly like a touchpad. So um, hard for you to see because the lighting and the contrast, but it's definitely functioning as a trackpad. Whereas, interestingly, the DualSense uh, 5 doesn't. So strange. Um, I don't know what the difference is there, how, how it's not operating as a trackpad, but something interesting to note there. Um, not that it's going to be useful for remote play games anyway. I'm going to quickly go ahead and just start that connecting to the PlayStation. So it takes a bit of time to turn the console on. And while that's happening, I'm going to turn off the pad um, just so we've got the DualSense 5 connected. So to turn off the controllers when they're not paired to a PlayStation, you just hold the PlayStation button for a period of 10 seconds. If you're holding that for 10 seconds, you'll see the light is going to go off and the controller is going to completely power off. So we're going to see that now. There you go, the light's gone off and the controller is completely powered off and that should be disconnected now from the tablet. So I'm just going to set that aside and we're just going to go back to the DualSense 5 um, and we'll wait for, hopefully, the PlayStation to turn on. It's saying it's linking and connecting to the PlayStation 5 and we'll hopefully see the menu come up. Maybe I'll turn the volume up a little bit as well so you can hear some audio. And um, it's definitely working as you can see. Right, um, sorry the focus isn't the greatest I'm recording from my phone. Uh, you can see the on-screen display there. Now another thing to note immediately is this actually does not work with the PlayStation 5 controller. Now I don't know if there's another way of connecting this. Maybe if we connect via USB-C cable um, it might work, but it's definitely not working. It's definitely not working um, directly. So you can see the you can see the controls. You can see the controls here uh, on screen. They're working. If I turn on the 
let's turn this on as well to see what happens if it picks up immediately DualShock 4 um, is, is working immediately as you can see there the DualSense 5 does not work with PS4 Remote Play even though I'm playing PlayStation 5 on Remote Play so maybe they'll add support for this controller later on uh, maybe the app needs to be updated who knows um, out of the box it definitely doesn't work touchpad doesn't work completely unfunctional um, so there you go that does not work on the Android if there's another mode to put it into um, by pairing it a slightly different way I guess news will come out um, that will inform us of that but that definitely is completely dead on the PS4 remote play app where as I showed you yesterday playing with a DualSense 4 controller works absolutely fine um, no issues there whatsoever uh, not sure what would happen if we launched something like Astro's Playroom with a DualSense 4 controller because that game is all about the DualSense 5. So there we go. Um, PS4 Remote Play or PlayStation Remote Play as it's now been relabeled does not work on the Android tablet or certainly on my Android tablet. I'm using a Galaxy Tab S7 Plus using the DualSense 5 controller. If you want to do remote play, you most certainly will have to use the DualShock 4. Hopefully you found this video informative and useful. As always, if you have, please feel free to uh, leave a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, leave a comment in the question uh, in the section below and I will definitely try and answer your questions for you. If there's anything you want me to try, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to try it for you. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, over here somewhere you'll see a subscribe button. That I need to probably enhance anyway but if you found this use video useful and you think you'll find my future videos useful please please subscribe to the channel it helps me um, and it will also help you by letting you know I've released something new thanks very much for watching take care and all the best bye bye